What is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys another tutorial here in Photoshop CS6, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool typography text effect, so basically your letters are going to be made up of words, and uh, the finished product does look pretty cool, and um, this is really easy to make like I said, and it also doesn't take too long, it should only take you around 5 or 6 minutes to do this, and um, your finished product will look very similar to this here. But uh, I only just threw this together for the sake of this tutorial, so if you do spend a bit longer doing this, then of course your finished product is going to look a lot better than mine does. So anyways, I'll just jump straight into the tutorial now, so open up Photoshop, we're going to go to File and then hit New. <coughs> I'm having my width 1920 and my height 1080 pixels, that's basically just a full background image, then my resolution is going to be 72 pixels per inch. Color mode or GB color 8 bit, and then background contents doesn't really matter. I'm just having a white background for now, and then hit OK. And if you would like to put this into a YouTube banner, then have your width 2560 pixels and your height 1440 pixels, and just make sure your word is kind of in the very middle of um, your template, and uh, you'll be able to upload that to YouTube and it'll look nice and cool. So anyways, once we have our template opened, I'm going to go to the text tool. The text tool is this capital T here. It is down here over to the left, and then I'm going to just left click and drag out to make my text box. <clears throat> I'm going to change the size to around about 300. So 300, and I'm going to also change the font to Whoopass. I will leave a link in the description if I remember, hopefully I will. But uh, yeah, if you would like to use this font, then check out the description, and hopefully there will be a link there. Uh, if not, you can just use basically whatever font you would like to use, and um, just make sure it's pretty bold, like this one. Uh, make sure it's just not really thin, um, yeah, and that's basically all you have to do. So once we have our word typed out, I'm going to put the cursor in between the two letters. I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard, and just tap the right arrow on the keyboard as well. This just spaces out the letters a little bit and make sure that they are not overlapping because it will look a bit stupid if they are overlapping when we do the typography text effect. So anyways, now I'm just going to hit the move tool. The move tool is the top tool um, over on the left. I'm just going to center this up a little bit. I might actually make the... don't even know what I'm saying, sorry. I might make this uh, a bit bigger, the words a bit bigger. So I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to go up and change it to 400 like so, once again, oh, I hit the move tool, I'm just going to center this like that, I'm going to hit control T on the keyboard, going to go up to the left corner and I'm just going to rotate the letters a little bit, you don't have to do this but I think it looks pretty cool, once I'm happy I'm going to hit that tick up the top there like so, so now once we have the word that we want to make the typography out of, I'm going to go back down to the text tool, once again I'm going to type out a box, make this box really big, make it nearly the full size of your template, like so, and then I'm going to change the size down to 14, and I'm also going to change the font to a font called Crunch. Once again, you can use whatever font you want, or you can use this if I do remember to leave a link in the description to it. Uh, if there's no link and you would like to see it, then just leave a comment and I'm sure that I will get around to putting it in. So uh, I'm just going to type out whatever I want my words to say, so I'm just going to type out Beast HD a few times. Yeah, you don't have to do this too many times, don't worry, I'm just going to Beast HD, maybe around 10 times. Like so, and I'm actually going to resize this a tiny bit, I'm going to make this 18. Yeah, make it 18. And then I'm just going to right click, hit copy. Then I'm going to go back to the end of all the words, going to just hit space, then hit control V on your keyboard. So control and V basically just pastes it. So just keep hitting space then control V and as you can see this will not take long at all because I'm just going to paste all these um, in. Speed this along once again, going to left click, highlight all of these, right click, hit copy, then hit space, control V and as you can see this won't take long to fill up this box. Like so and there we go and then I'm just going to go down to the end here, going to highlight all of these. And I'm just going to change the colour to, uh, I don't know, uh, we'll do, um, no, we'll do gold, might be cool. Like so. And I'm just going to hit the tick once I'm happy. <clears throat> so I'm just going to hit the move tool and make sure that 
all the letters cover the word so all your little words cover your big word basically and once that is done we're going to go over here to the layers palette over here to the right i'm going to select the beast layer which is basically my big words i'm going to go just to where this little box is you can see where the t is basically i'm going to hit control and i'm just going to click once so control and then right click then go up to this layer here it's the the layer that has all your little words and I'm gonna go down here to where it says add layer mask it is right beside the FX button so just click add layer mask and then I'm gonna go back to the beast layer and I'm just gonna hit backspace on the keyboard and as you can see we now have a cool typography text effect and I'm actually gonna change the color because you can't really see it or I will just bring in a background so wait one sec So there we go, you can see this a lot clearer now. What I did there is I just basically used the gradient tool. The gradient tool is right here. All you have to do is left click and just drag out and you get yourself a nice little gradient. Um, yeah, there we go. So now you can see it really well that we have our cool typography text effect going on and that was really quick and really easy. So now if you would like to change some of the words and have them say something else, then just hit your text tool again. We're gonna go and just highlight one of the words and I'm just gonna delete it and then I don't know you can type in whatever you want I'll type in tutorial and then I'm gonna highlight that once again and you can change the color if you want the words to really stand out so I'll just change it to white okay like so so as you can see you can do this a lot more you can put a lot more different words in if you want you can change the color of uh, all different words and stuff and you can make it a lot better looking but just for the sake of time I am not going to do that uh, in this tutorial I just wanted to show you it's the really it's just a really quick way of doing typography text effect and I've looked at a lot of tutorials on YouTube and a lot of the ways people do it it just it takes ages you have to type out each word individually and uh, yeah it just made me unhappy thinking that uh, you'd have to do it that way but anyway, that is really the tutorial, and um, you can put whatever background you want in, and you can, like I said, you can do a lot more with this to make it look really cool. I'm not really going to bother, just for the sake of time. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and all that good stuff. And uh, once you've finished your uh, typography text effect, and you're happy with the whole thing, then just hit File, and then go to Save As. Save it as whatever you want, but just make sure you save it as a JPEG. If you want to use this as a background or whatever, then just save it to wherever you want and you have yourself a really cool typography text effect really easily. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like and all that good stuff and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys next video. Bye bye.